Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice square root algebra simplification problem. Square root of 3 minus 2 times square root of 2. We will solve it by two methods. So let's start with method 1. In this method, we suppose that let a plus b times square root of 2 is equal to this expression square root of 3 minus 2 times square root of 2 and we take square of both sides a plus b times square root of 2 and we take square at left side is equal to this expression square root of 3 minus 2 times square root of 2 and we take square at the right side according to this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab this a plus b times square root of 2 whole squared is equal to a squared plus b times square root of 2 squared plus 2 times a times b times square root of 2 is equal to this square will be cancelled out with this square root and at right side left 3 minus 2 times square root of 2 next a squared plus this b times the square root of 2 squared is equal to 2 b squared plus this 2 times a times b times square root of 2 is 2 a b times square root of 2 is equal to 3 minus 2 times square root of 2. Now we write this expression a squared plus 2 b squared equal to this 3 and this 2 a b times square root of 2 equal to this negative 2 times square root of 2 like this a squared plus 2b squared is equal to 3 and this expression 2ab times square root of 2 is equal to this expression negative 2 times square root of 2. Now from this equation we divide both sides by 2 times square root of 2. At right side we divide by 2 times square root of 2. So this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and this square root of 2 will be cancelled out with this square root of 2. And at left side left AB is equal to this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and this square root of 2 will be cancelled out with this square root of 2 and here left 1 so at right side left negative 1 and from here if we divide both sides by a we get value of b is equal to negative 1 over a now in this equation we put the value of b from this equation negative 1 over a like this we write this a squared first a squared plus 2 times value of b is negative 1 over a squared is equal to 3 next a squared plus 2 times negative 1 squared is 1 over a squared is a squared is equal to 3 next a squared plus 2 times 1 2 over a squared is equal to 3 now because in the denominator we have a squared so we multiply both sides of this equation by a squared a squared times this expression a squared plus 2 over a squared is equal to 3 times a squared and this a squared times a squared 
a to the power 4 plus a squared times 2 over a squared a squared will be cancelled out and here left 2 is equal to 3 times a squared 3 a squared now we can write this a to the power 4 as we can write this a to the power 4 as a squared whole squared and we move this 3a squared to the left side it becomes negative 3a squared plus this 2 is equal to 0 now here we have a squared and here we have a squared so we suppose that let a squared is equal to x and we substitute x in this equation then this equation becomes x squared minus 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. So we solve it by factorization. We write this x squared x squared and we split this negative 3x as we split this negative 3x as negative 2x minus 1x plus this 2 is equal to 0. Now from these two terms we can factor out x. x as a common factor and in bracket left x minus 2. And from these two terms we can factor out negative 1. Negative 1 as a common factor and in bracket left x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this expression x minus 2 x minus 2 is a common factor. So we factor out this x minus 2 and in bracket left this x and this negative 1 in bracket left x minus 1 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0 and from here x is equal to 2 and from here x is equal to 1. Now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that a squared is equal to x. We have supposed that a squared is equal to x. So a squared is equal to 2 and a squared is equal to 1. Now from here if we take a square root of both sides we get a is equal to plus or minus square root of 2. So from here we get two values of a, a1 is equal to square root of 2 and a2 is equal to negative square root of 2. And from here if we take square root of both sides we get two values of a, a is equal to plus or minus 1. So value of a3 is equal to 1 and value of a4 is equal to negative 1. Now we have four values of a. To find the value of b recall that recall that b is equal to negative 1 over a. recall that b is equal to negative 1 over a. So by using this equation we can find the four values of b. b1 is equal to negative 1 divided by we put this value of a1 first square root of 2 square root of 2 and b2 is equal to negative 1 divided by we put this value of a2 negative square root of 2 negative square root of 2 so this negative sign will be cancelled out with this negative and we get the value of b2 1 over square root of 2 and value of b3 is equal to negative 1 divided by we put the value of a3 1 
so value of b3 is equal to negative 1 and value of b4 is equal to negative 1 divided by value of a4 is negative 1 is equal to negative 1 divided by negative 1 positive 1 so from here we get four pairs of a comma b a comma b is equal to first pair is square root of 2 and negative 1 over square root of 2 square root of 2 and negative 1 over square root of 2 and the second pair is negative square root of 2 and 1 over square root of 2 negative square root of 2 comma 1 over square root of 2 and the third pair is 1 comma negative 1 1 comma negative 1 and fourth pair is negative 1 comma positive 1 negative 1 comma 1 now we have four pairs of a comma b now recall that we have supposed in the start we have supposed that a plus b times square root of 2 is equal to our principal problem square root of 3 minus 2 times square root of 2 we have supposed that square root of 3 minus 2 times square root of 2 is equal to a plus b times square root of 2 first in place of this a we put this value square root of 2 and in place of this b we put this value negative 1 over square root of 2 then this expression will be equal to value of a square root of 2 plus value of b negative 1 time square root of 2 times this square root of 2 square root of 2 so this square root of 2 will be cancelled out with this square root of 2 and we get this value square root of 2 minus 1 square root of 2 minus 1 now in this expression we put the value of a negative square root of 2 and value of b 1 over square root of 2 like this value of a is negative square root of 2 plus value of b is 1 over square root of 2 times this square root of 2 and this will be equal to this square root of 2 will be cancelled out with this square root of 2 and we get negative square root of 2 plus 1 now in this expression we put the value of a 1 and value of b negative 1 so value of a is 1 plus value of b is negative 1 times this square root of 2 square root of 2 so this is equal to 1 minus square root of 2 now we put the value of a negative 1 and value of b 1 so value of a is negative 1 plus value of b is 1 times this square root of 2 square root of 2 and this will be equal to negative 1 plus square root of 2 now this negative 1 plus square root of 2 is same as this square root of 2 minus 1 so we eliminate this one and this negative square root of 2 plus 1 is same as 1 minus square root of 2 so we eliminate this one and because this expression 3 minus 2 times square root of 2 is greater than 0 and this expression 1 minus square root of 2 is less than 0 so this will also be rejected and we are left with only this expression square root of 2 minus 1 so this expression square root of 3 minus 2 times square root of 2 is equal to square root of 2 
minus 1. This is the final answer of this problem. Now let's solve this problem by method 2. This method we can write this expression as square root of 3 minus we can write this uh, 2 times square root of 2 as 2 times square root of 2 times 1. Next square root of now because here we have 2 and 1 so we split this 3 as we split this 3 as 2 plus 1 like this 2 plus 1 minus 2 times square root of 2 times 1 next square root of now we want to write this expression as a perfect square in the form of this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared minus 2ab is equal to a minus b whole squared in this expression we have this square root of 2 as a and this one is as b so we have 2ab here and we can write this 2 as we can write this 2 as square root of 2 squared and we can write this one as we can write this one as one squared like this we write this two as square root of two squared plus we write this one as one squared minus two times square root of two times one next square root of now as this expression a squared plus b squared minus 2ab is equal to this a minus b whole squared. This square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared minus 2 times square root of 2 times 1 can be written as square root of 2 minus 1 whole squared. And this square will be cancelled out with the square root and we get this value square root of 2 minus 1 square root of 2 minus 1 and this is the final answer of this problem.